Hey everyone, okay, so you're gonna see a makeover tutorial based on the Kim Kardashian look that was in Glamour magazine. So let's make a start. The first thing we're gonna do is apply some moisturizer to the skin just to prime the skin and to make the makeup go on a little bit smoother. I'm gonna start with a bronzer and I'm gonna bronze from the neck down and really build up color here because Lisa's very pale naturally. We want to make sure that the face and body match. So I'm using a powder bronzer on the neck and chest area. Next, we're gonna move into contouring highlighting. I'm gonna highlight the forehead area, down the bridge of the nose, and on the chin area. Then we're gonna go and heavily highlight underneath the eye. And Kim Kardashian is very, very famous for this very highlighted under eye area. So don't be afraid of contouring because it's really simple. So once you've highlighted these areas, and you'll see them now, these are the areas that will stand out because anything light comes towards us. Next, I'm gonna take a NARS brush and contour underneath the cheekbones. There you go, scary. The jawline. And I'm also gonna contour the outside corner of the eye area and go up into the temples as well because anything we darken will recede away from us. So you'll see another angle of this now. And cream foundations are amazing to do when contouring because they blend so well. As usual, I'm using Ket foundation, Ket cream foundation here because it just looks beautiful. I'm going to go up into the temple area as well. Now I'm going to take just two stripes of this contour color right down the side of the nose and then you'll sort of see it here. There we go. That's contouring and highlighting. Take a stippling brush and I'm going to use a shade of foundation that's one shade darker than Lisa's complexion and I'm gonna blend all of these colors into one. And what happens is the whole thing molds in together. So you still have highlights and you still have contours without it being noticeable. If you click this video here, you'll see another way of doing that Kim Kardashian concealer tutorial because this is one of the things that Kim Kardashian is most famous for, at least in terms of her makeup. There you go, you can see the contour and the highlighted areas, but none of it screams you know, there's no real hard lines. It just looks like the skin is glowing. I'm now setting this the um, foundation with loose powder, and I'm now gonna apply a lighter shade of loose powder underneath the under eye area. And this is gonna sit here on the skin until I'm ready. And I've highlighted the forehead and the chin as well, and down the bridge of the nose. I'm just taking a bronzer and just going over the outer perimeter of the face, because this is the area I want to recede away from us and it really does give a glow to the skin after you've done that contouring. Just gonna whisk off the light powder from the forehead and the chin. Taking a Claudia Raz eyebrow brush, I'm just going through the eyebrow to darken it and to thicken the area slightly. Next, I'm taking a taut eyeshadow with shimmer in and I'm applying this all over the eyelid and right the way up to the brow bone as well. Now I'm taking a slightly deeper taut color and going into the crease of the eye and I will bring this down onto the outer corner of the lid as well. Taking an instant arch brush, I'm applying highlighter to underneath the brow area. Now I'm gonna highlight the cupid's bow of the lips because this just really makes the top lip stand out and look even more full. And Lisa already has really full lips anyway. Just gonna run some of that shadow underneath the eye as well to connect everything and make it a bit more harmonious. I'm gonna to start to sweep off this powder now that we had underneath the eyes. Taking a bronze blush, I'm applying this to the cheekbone area and all the products are in the description bar as normal. I'm then gonna apply a really bright pink blush, really lightly, just to the higher planes of the face. I'm now gonna line the eyes ever so slightly with a charcoal um, eyeshadow. And this is just an angled brush by Louise Young. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. So here you go. You can see just by lining it, it just gives it a little bit more drama. Coffee pencil now into the inner rim of the waterline. I love coffee pencil. I think it's one of the best cold pencils out there. It really looks beautiful. Just going to go over the outside edge of the lip slightly with Spice Pencil by MAC. I'm then going to fill in the lip as normal with NARS Sandpiper Lip Gloss because it's so, so beautiful. Lisa's going to color eyelashes now. There we go. So give the eyelashes a really good curl and then we're going to apply Smoky Lash Mascara by Makeup Forever. And really work this into the root of the lash and pull up. 
just going to apply a little bit underneath and you can really see the before and after coming up now from really pale to glowing Kim Kardashian kind of look. So thank you for watching. Your time is always appreciated and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, your nose is beautiful. Eight shots from the side. I kind of it looks like, like really this. big. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess. From the side. I'm looking at it from the side now. I'm absolutely horrified. Right, look straight. Shushy. You know, I'm not being funny. But often, I don't start getting funny. That's why I said I'm not being funny. But I've done YouTube for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. People are always saying that. Oh, were you a model once? Were you? And I was like, yeah. To be honest, I was. And then, oh, modelling sounds really dirty. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. A lot of it was. <laughs> to be honest with you, and I'm not ashamed of it. Mm -hmm.